Oh, yeah, She's a bad guy. She's a bad guy. And so is mine. Oh my goodness. Look at mine. Oh, Ooh, I look can't at that. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Level six from each. Looking good. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Just, oh, <laughs> I like her blue hair. She's like Smurfette. Her name is Evil? Evie. Evie. Oh. And cool. her name is Mel. Cool. Good morning, happy Tuesday. So yesterday was a PD day, but I didn't even go because the sinus infection that I've had raging through me just got me and I could not do any more. So I ended up staying home yesterday, except for when I went to the doctor and got antibiotics because yes, I do have a sinus infection. It was causing pain in my jaw and I have fluid in my ears. So yeah, it was a good time to go to the doctor because I didn't have to make sub plans or anything. So this morning I showed you a little bit of power hour. We also did a couple of spooky story word problems and they did really well in those. And then it was time for them to go. And my kiddos are at music right now. And when they come back, we're going to do I Ready Reading. And then we're going to the outdoor classroom for a special presentation by a couple of first grade teachers, my friends, that are doing the little old lady who wasn't afraid of anything. So I am planning to film that. I will make sure it's okay with them to show it on here. And I hope that I can because it will be really fun. They used to do it in the past and then haven't done it for a while, but they revamped it. So it should be really cool. And when we come back, we'll be doing a coding activity which is trick-or-treat coding you have to get your trick-or-treater through the maze and avoid the pitfalls so that'll be fun and then we'll have lunch and then when we come back from lunch we will have um reading time yeah <laughs> i have my lesson plans over here i promise i made some but i didn't get them printed out until just now so yeah trick-or-treat coding and then oh we're going to learn about the history of halloween candy so that's going to be really fun and I have a colored version of this printed out downstairs. It didn't print the first time, so I sent it again. Right now I just have a black and white so I can kind of see what I'm doing, at least. Get it on my lesson plan binder. There we go. That's kind of a mess. And I'm getting these ready, getting them printed. I have the covers made, and I have the little jack-o'-lantern things made. Now I need to print the um, labels like this so that I can get them assembled tonight. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight, putting these together and putting the finishing touches on some little things I made for my coworkers. So I'll be bringing that tomorrow and I'll show you at home what that looks like. Right now, I'm going to get myself back together <laughs> and eat my breakfast bowl that I just heated and I think it's about the right temperature now. And try to get the rest of my stuff printed, copied, and ready for the rest of the week. Tomorrow we'll be doing candy corn math stations, which will be really fun. So I'll be sure to show you that, and I will link everything below for you in case you want to do it. Of course, by the time you get it, it'll be after Halloween. But there's always next year, or you can just continue the Halloween fun, because candy corn is good all the time, right? Yeah. Okay, I will chat with you a little bit later, but I'm going to show you my outfit real quick, and then I'm going to go. Let me show you my outfit from a different angle, because I tried back there and it didn't work. So here's what I'm wearing. I have a green tank top from Target. This is from Marisa's, this little sweater. You've seen it before. Headband is from Amazon. These earrings are from Walmart. This ring is from Marisa's. My nails are looking very janky now. <laughs> They're getting very nasty. Just trying to hang on till Halloween because they do glow in the dark. They're really cool, but they're looking kind of funky. Um, my leggings are from Walmart and my boots are from Marisa's. Let me show you a close up of my leggings. They're kind of like spooky cupcakes. <laughs> and then my boots are just another color of the kind that I wore last week. These are black. They're kind of like Robin Hood boots. Okay, let me back up so you can see what everything looks like, and then I'm going to eat my breakfast and get myself together for the rest of the day. Before I go, I want to show you my rug, because after conferences last week, the custodians had a little extra time, and my rug looks really nice now. Check this out. They have vacuumed it, and they've cleaned it. Doesn't that look awesome? Like, it doesn't have dirt stains in it anymore. Looks really pretty. I wonder how long it will stay that way. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, today also, I'm starting class versus teacher. I'm going to write that on the board right now. Because otherwise, I will totally forget. So let me come up here. I'll do it in funky orange and green colors. 
I'll write it on the board. But first I need to erase my power hour stuff. Did my cube strategy here. <laughs> I said, pick your favorite color, friends. And we'll do our cube strategy with our spooky stories. There. Okay. So class versus class versus teacher is a whole brain teaching thing. And you basically give points. So I'm putting myself in green because that's my favorite color. I'll put them in orange. Okay. Oh, that's really bad. I'm going to have to rewrite it. But anyway, it's up there. Not very even. I'm going to fix that because I can't write and film at the same time. Obviously, I'm not coordinated enough. But you get give them points for doing what they're supposed to do, like for listening and not blurting out and things like that. But when they blurt out, that's a point for you. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing a regular math lesson today, though. So I may not do a lot today. But I think tomorrow on Halloween, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. So I'll let you know how that goes. All right. I'm going to go for now, and I'll try to catch back up with you later. There is my new improved class versus teacher board. <laughs> I will just make tally marks. I'll probably put a little line under the verses so I can keep track. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Stay right with me, okay? Hello, I just got my kids deposited in the lunchroom and I checked my box and I had like a picture retake form. I'm going to eat a banana as a little snack and I might have some lunch type stuff later, but since I have that breakfast bowl, I'm pretty good right now. 
Whew, we did the trick or treat coating. I'll just show you. I think I've shown you before, but just in case, I'll show you right now. So this is from Brooke Brown, you can see there. And we did a back to school one. This is obviously trick or treat. You wanna get your trick or treater, one of these people, through the maze, which was the page before, to the house. So you're gonna lay them through here with little obstacles. So these are like rewards that they wanna pick up along the way. They have to knock on the doors and then the ghosts are the enemies that they want to jump over. So here's what the kids got. And then your, their coding sheet. So they have to figure out the path to get their trick-or-treater all the way to the haunted house by using the symbols. And they did a really good job. Some of them didn't quite get finished, but I sent home their pieces in a Ziploc bag. And then they can do it at home too. So I don't have them glue, oops, I don't have them glue the pieces down. That way they can move things around if they want to. So the kids can take home their coating things and try it at home however way they want to. That'll be really good. This afternoon, I was telling you that I'm going to be using my Scholastic News. And it's going to be something really cool. And if I can get it to come up, I'll show you. Here it is. Right here. It's the history of Halloween candy. I thought that was perfect for today since tomorrow's Halloween. And tomorrow's going to be a woo, crazy day. Super fun, super wild, and I'm just prepared for it. I'm just prepared for it. Just to, That's just the way it's going to be. So we're going to study the history of Halloween candy, do a comprehension page that goes with it. Pretty cool. There's also um, a rotten science, which is a rotting pumpkin experiment, which we can do in a few weeks because Caitlin is going to carve our pumpkins today and we'll just bring them when they're looking a little nappy and we can do some experiments with them in a few weeks. So that'll be nice. Of course, we'll start learning about Thanksgiving and turkeys and things like that. Next week is going to be all about turkeys and I'm going to finish up our bats this week, hopefully. And we have a field trip next week. We're going to be learning about how bats use echolocation. That's going to be exciting. Um, so that's pretty much my afternoon. I'm going to have the kids finish these during reading group time. Their ketchup and pickles and mayo and mustard time. Plus they can finish their coding activity because not everybody got done with that. <sighs> And that's pretty much my day. Yeah. I'm going to get back in the groove of reading groups. I need to choose books for my kids. I like to do some actual planning. I've never been a super huge reading group planner, but I think I need to plan more this year just because our time seems to be limited. Whereas in first grade, I didn't really feel like my time was as limited for reading groups. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I think I need to be a little more proactive on the planning a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I apologize for the way I look today. I just wasn't feeling it, you know. I mostly, I think I just look kind of pale and not a lot of color in my face because I don't have eyeliner on the top of my eyelids for one thing because they're so swollen. I didn't want to put anything on there. So that's, that's one of the major things. Plus my hair is back and that looks different too, but I'm here. So I'm okay, but you know, I didn't do myself up as glam as I try sometimes. Okay, well that's the plan. So I have some more, I'm sure I have more things to copy and prepare, but I just can't uh, get my head wrapped around them right now. So that's, that's what's going on. <laughs> and my kids are going to get out of lunch in about 10 minutes and then I will take them to recess and have a little more time to think about stuff before they come back and we learn about the history of Halloween candy. I think they'll really enjoy that. That'll be cool. And um, I think I only had four or five kiddos. Yeah, I had five, six. Six kiddos that did not have all of their pencils for the pencil challenge. Okay, means I have five minutes. Oh, look at that. It's really falling apart now. Tonight I'll probably be changing these because they're looking really, really bad. Like I think I can keep these, but the rest of these, hasta la vista, baby. And I have, I think I'll change the, the ones that I'm taking off, I'll change to the black. I think that'd be good and it would blend 
So imagine these as just straight black, and then these would be kind of cute for Halloween. Because those don't look too bad. But then, um, well, that one's starting to look kind of bad. Then I'll switch these out at, like, that night, or the next day or whatever, and I'll have sparkles. So, yep. So these did not hold up, friends. So I don't recommend them. Not at all. They are fun for a few days, but after that, they kind of became a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, I really wish I could have shown you what they look like in the dark because they really do look cool because they do glow in the dark really nicely, but they look like crud now, so that's not good. Yep. Alrighty, I'm going to go get my kids, take them to recess. It's really nice out. I think it's like 70 something. Let me look at my weather app here. It is 75. Hmm, 75. I told them, I said, I promise you will not need your jacket for recess. I promise. It'll be really nice. And they're excited. Oh, incidentally, on class versus teacher, I didn't even start collecting points until after we were coming back from the outdoor classroom. Like, when we came into the building is when I started the points. And I'm ahead by eight. They have two, and I have ten. So they need to really be stepping up their game. Oh, actually, I think I have eleven. Because uh, I got another one on the way to lunch because people were talking. Yep, so I need to add that one on. So we're starting to, I'm starting to see a little peer pressure in the making. I told my AP as I passed him in the hallway, I said, oh, we started class versus teacher today. So we're going to see how that plays out. And he's like, oh, how does that work? So I told him, he goes, oh, good idea. I'm like, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, I'm going to go get my kids and I'll try to check back in with you later. But I still have early bus duty this week. So if you don't see me again, I apologize. I'll say goodbye for now. And if I jump on later, that'll be bonus. Otherwise, I'll say goodbye for the day. Hi, it's about six o'clock and I'm home as you can see and I've been making these cookies. These are just the break and makes where they come already cut and everything. You just put them on a cookie sheet. Look, we have two batches already because I had two packages of this. And there's one more in the oven and then we'll have lots and lots of monster munch cookies. Yum. And I need to get my spooky science kits put together. And I also need to finish up my little treat bags for my colleagues. I just need to add the tag and ribbon because all the things are in the bags. And I'll show you those when I get them ready so you can see what I did. I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to replace these that did not work out so well <laughs> with the black ones in here. So I'll show you how easy they are to do. Okay, the nails look like this when you get them in the package. And you just open them up and then choose the sizes that you need. I've chosen my sizes, so I've got my thumb, my index finger, my middle finger, my thumb, my index finger, my middle finger. I've washed and dried my nails, and they don't need to be filed because I just did them not that long ago. So now all you need to do is pick up the nail and pull the adhesive tab off and stick it on. Okay, you see the back here? You just pull that tab off and stick it on your finger. Okay, see the adhesive tab here? You see it right there? Kind of there it is. You just pull that off. Like that. Try not to touch it. Then kind of put it on your nail the way you want it. I kind of push it up against my cuticle and make sure it's centered. And then push it down. Ta da! <laughs> There's the tab. There they are! Pretty cool. And when Halloween's over, I'll take the ring finger and the pinky off. And I'll do probably a black pinky and this metallic cheetah on the ring finger. So that'll look really nice. Alright! I think the cookies are about done. Okay, here's my little factory here of all things Halloween. So here's the finished treat bag. No tricks, only treats for a great teacher. And then inside, you will see, to keep your hands beautiful, tan lotion. And then just some various candies inside there. Yep, I think my colleagues will like it. And then I've got all the equipment and supplies for the spooky science kits. So I'm going to get to work on those next. Behold, 22 bags of spooky science kits. I still have a few things to add. I need to put the little booklets together, which is what this pile is right here. 
and I need to cut out the labels so when I put these together I can flip them over the top and staple and they'll be ready for them to take home tomorrow so they can do their own math science. Uh -huh. So that's what I'm going to do now and it is like 8.30 and I've been working on this for about two hours. So just so you know, this takes a little while because in here we have 12 pieces of candy corn, two pixie sticks, a pencil, Halloween of course, and three bags of dry ingredients. One bag of cornstarch, one bag of salt, and one bag of baking soda. You need a third cup of the baking soda and then a half cup of salt and a half cup of cornstarch, which is why my sleeves are very, very white. <laughs> See the gloves? I had to clean up my table a lot because there there's still a little bit on there. But yeah, it's a little powdery, so it kind of poofs everywhere. So be prepared to be a little messy. I would have done this at the, the counter, my daughter was painting at the counter, so I used the table instead. So I'm going to take my little salad over there downstairs so I can eat. So I will show you the final product in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Happy Halloween. Mrs. Bond could not be here today, so I, her cousin, Helena Frankenbond, Dr. Frankenbond from Western Transylvania, will be substituting today. I will be teaching these pupils everything they need to know about science. Mwahaha! This is what they will be leaving with today, so they can be their own mad scientists in the comfort and solitude of their own homes. Happy Halloween! <laughs> so... I didn't put any of this on until just now, so the kids don't even know I have a costume. I'll show you what I was wearing before. Just a black shirt and candy corn leggings <laughs> and some funny socks. So I'm going to be transformed into mad scientist Dr. Frankenbond. Let me back up so you can see the whole thing. Everything came from Amazon, of course. I got this last year, last summer, a year ago summer. And these glasses I just got, the goggles and the lab coat. And I ordered this from Amazon as well to have it say what I wanted it to say. And then I've changed my nails. So the only one that's left over from Halloween is this. <laughs> the only ones that survived. The other ones were looking pretty janky. So I just changed them. So tomorrow I will probably put on just black and then it'll just be regular nails. All right, when the students come back, we will be doing eye ready. And that's the only normal thing we have left today. <laughs> we had power hour. They're at PE right now. When they come back, we'll do I ready math. And then we will dive into candy corn math stations. And I will try to go around and film them. I'm going to use those little spider bowls that I got at Dollar Tree. Let me show you those. Come along with me. And if you hear the microwave beeping, it's because it's my breakfast. My breakfast burrito is ready. Yay. Oop. Hold on. I left the science kit out. I cannot leave that out. Let me go get that. We can't have the evidence of what they're going to get out anywhere. No. All right. We'll put this. I brought them in a bin so the students wouldn't even see them. And I brought a rolly cart because the bin is very heavy. <laughs> Let me show you. It's just a luggage cart that I had from way back. And it fit this little bin really nicely. I'm going to tell you that I was working on these last night, as you've seen already. And they took forever. Let me tell you. Do not wait to the last minute like I did. I had the supplies for the most part. But I did not have them put together. So I spent a good four hours on them last night. Yes, This is really hot. I may not be able to wear it right now. <laughs> so candy corn mass stations. Let me show you. It's from Sarah Cooley. And one of them is called Clear the Candy. And so you give them actual candy corn. I have oodles of candy corn. Some from last year, some from this year. This year's candy corn they can eat. Last year's candy corn I wouldn't recommend. It'll probably break your teeth out. So they cover every spot with candy corn. Let me grab my breakfast so it doesn't beep at us anymore. All right, it is cooling now. So they roll two die, and whatever number they get, they remove a candy corn from that. And whoever removes their candy corn first wins. These, of course, will go in sleeves so as not to get messy. Sleeves. Okay. Next is spill the candy, and it's a 
part, part, whole. Let them use the recording sheet, which is over here. And I'll probably give them 10 candy corns and however they land. Oh, this one doesn't have the thing. However they land is how they write them on the recording sheet. So they make number sentences. Then I can get all this ready while they're doing I ready in case I don't get it ready now. We have a measurement. All right. Oh, goodness. We'll put these together. Myself together. All right, there's that. Piling like a crazy person. All right, sweet measurement. So they're going to measure these things, of course, with candy corn. Yes. So you just measure end to end and say how many candy corns long those things are. Here's the subtraction thing I was talking about. So they can use this. They can use this to do part, part, whole, to figure out the answers they wish. This one did have flashcards. I didn't think there was a need for them. They could just look at the problems on the page and figure them out. This was made for first grade, so they should be able to handle it very well. All right, let me get some more of those. Okay, a measurement, there should be one more. Ah, yes, a roll and cover. Now, this is the black and white version. I have some made from last year that are laminated and they're in color because I use them a lot. They loved it. And I just gave them different erasers to use. Like we use skulls, we use pumpkins. Looks like this. Each partner gets a mat. They shake up two dice and whatever answer they get, they cover the sum on their candy corn page and whoever fills them up first wins. So that is what we're going to be doing for math today. Yay. And our Halloween party, our mad science party, begins after recess. So I just need to make it through the morning and get them to lunch and all is good. <laughs> My life will be easier because they are raring to go. All righty. These are the bowls that I was speaking of to put the stations in. And I have more than I need, actually, so that's okay. Because I was going to try to do 10 or 12 stations and we're missing some people today, so it's going to work out fine. All right, so I'm going to eat my breakfast, drink some of my iced coffee that makes me happy, and get back to work. So Dr. Frankenbond is signing off. I will check in with you later.